Hello friends, uh, welcome again and uh, this is my new project uh, online grocery store ordering system and I have developed this project in Java, Spring Boot, uh, Angular and MySQL. So on the Spring Boot site for ID, I am using STS Spring Boot tool suits and server, I am using Tomcat server and JDK version is a 1.8. On the Angular side, I am using Visual Studio code for writing the codes, command prompt for running the uh, code and for the port uh, we are using port 4200 and uh, on the server side mon means on the spring boot side i'm using port 8080 8080 on the server side right so this is a microservice based application and all of the services we have developed in spring boot and all of the ui we have developed in angular right using the html and css right some of the javascript library also we have used right so these all are the technology stacks we have used for developing this project online grocery or ordering system. So let's start with the functionality, go through that, what we have implemented, what are the features available inside this project, right? So the project title is online grocery ordering system and it's a mini project which has only and only customer operations. Miss customer can perform certain operations, right? There is no admin panel available here, right? Because admin panel comes with the major project and if you want to see the major project that is available on our website too. So uh, <clears throat> once you run this project and once you open this uh, project on browser on port 4200, local host port 4200, then you will get this home page, right? So you can see this is about section. There are some uh, grocery items coming on the home page, right? So these all grocery items are coming from the API from the Spring Boot and MySQL database, right? If you click on the buy now button, then you will be able to see the details page with the add to cart options, right? So these are the details, these are the cost, right? Once you click on the add, then you will not be able to buy any items without registration, right? Means without login, you will not be able to buy any items. So I will uh, show you it later. So this is about page, this is a static page, there is nothing dynamic on it. These are the all products which are coming from the database through the api right you can see all of the products are here right once you click on the buy now you will be able to uh, see the details of the product this is a customer login where customer can log in and customer can see their dashboards this registration if you don't have the user id and password then you can register from here this is a contact us page and a st static contact us page there is nothing dynamic on it we are not saving any type of value into the database when we are not sending any type of email and SMS from this page. Now I am going to uh, log in as a customer. So use the ID submit ID at gmail.com password is test. Once you log in, you will be able to get this dashboard. So this is a dashboard. Here you can see the my card, new option, and the my orders and the my account. So here is your all of the previous order which you have made. Right. If you click on this arrow icon, you will be able to see the order details. Right. I think let me show you the last order details. This one you can see the order details here, <coughs> right? And this is a my account section from where you will be able to update your account details. Now I'm going to add some of the product into the cart. Currently, my cart is empty. Add some item into the cart and going to buy it, right? So this is all product here. Yeah, buy now, add to cart. So you can see that one item has been added into the cart and total cost I need to pay is 900 rupees. All products and now I'm going to add this one. <clears throat> so you can see two items into the cart. I'm going to this one, add two, three items into the cart, right? Continue shopping and this one and this one. There are four items into the cart. If I want to delete anyone, just hit the delete button that item will be deleted from the cart once you click on the checkout then you will get this payment page this is a dummy payment page there is nothing dynamic on it we are not making any type of real-time transition we are not validating it so once you click and just select these are the dummy things right you can select whatever you want once you click on the make payment you can see for the cost of three items is 1800 rupees and your order id 300 one is created and the status is paid right this is the date and contact number if you go on the my order section you will be able to see the order number 300 more details right 
so these are the flow for the purchase the item this is a logout right so this is a session driven menu it's render according to the session if you click on the logout that above menu will not be displayed you can see it's not displaying if you log in it's displaying right so these all functionalities we have implemented inside this project online grocery ordering system and as i told you earlier this is a major project sorry mini project developed in java spring boot mysql and angular where we have developed the backend part in spring boot and the front end part in angular and database we are using mysql so if you need any enhancement any extra feature in this project just put it into the comments we will incorporate those changes we will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much